I write because I don't want to live with the burden of not writing. I think uh, people are born with uh, certain responsibilities and writing is one of them. I write with a fountain pen and when the pen scrapes against uh, the paper, I like that sound and I think that fountain pen makes you write more and more. And then I go to computer, I, I type whatever I have, I write on the paper and then I just, you know, uh, transfer uh, my ideas that I pen down on paper to the computer. And in that process, what happens is that uh, so many uh, new ideas come, you know, to your mind, so many uh, something you know where, where you, you have where you write a paragraph or a sentence and you feel that when you write or write it on the computer you feel like there is more to add to that so you, computer and paper and this gap it gives you a, a scope of uh, developing your ideas properly and extending your sentences uh, expanding your paragraphs, expanding your imagination. I like to write in a room or I prefer to write in a room which is lined uh, with books, you know, where even books are scattered, you know, disarrayed, not, not in a very uh, perfect order, but randomly scattered around me. that suits me the best is the time between uh, 11 in the night till dawn you know I can I can write throughout the night but that is not the time you know people would uh, prefer to write and or my uh, family would allow me to you know write uh, because I, I like uh, the silence uh, of the night and the fact that the night is outside the house and it's all dark and I'm alone and I'm writing. So it's somehow, you know, uh, it creates that aura uh, where I feel that uh, this is the perfect time to put your ideas on the paper. Uh, but I write, by, I can write anywhere. I don't have a problem. I, I write in my office. I write uh, in the kitchen. I write when my son is there and my family is all around. I can I can write there. I can write in noise, I can write in silence. I, 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 I'm not, you know, bothered about presence of other people when I write. I uh, admire various authors for various things, uh, but in my own list, uh, number one position is occupied by Tolstoy. I think, I think world is, you know, yet to produce a writer of his stature. Uh, Tolstoy's, uh, uh, you know, canvas is vast, it's very, you know, universal. He covers almost all human emotions. I, I was uh, really uh, happy, delighted, sad. There was a big, uh, you know, mixed kind of feeling when I when I read his Anna Karenina, and I I, I so liked his uh, The Death of Ivan Ilyich. Uh, that book gave me frizzles. I admire other authors as well. I I like uh, Arundhati Roy. I like Kudze. Daniel Muhinuddin is somebody who I count on you know, from Pakistan uh, and uh, I like Chekhov also. I also uh, love reading uh, Mabusa. So uh, these are a bunch of few writers that I admire but I, I, I like and I admire and I read authors for different reasons. It's not, there's not a, not a single reason that I like somebody particularly. And uh, I like some people for the, the way they write. I like some people for the ideas they write. And I, I like some people for the way they choreograph a sentence.
half mother is not the story of the boy or the person who disappears in the custody but essentially about this woman i i just follow this woman in, in my in my imagination and i see that what she does what she thinks uh, where she goes what she feels everything i try to capture in my imagination you know through this woman